My name is Yusuf Nalwala. I am a civil engineer and managing director of Al Ansari group of companies in Muscat, Oman. I have been in construction industry now for 50 years, out of which 40 years has been in the capacity of an owner running the business. The reason why I have given a small background about me is not to boast of what I have achieved. I am sure all of us do realize that the educational program offered by American University are preferred by Indians and those coming out of from American universities definitely seem to be well equipped to face the challenges of the industry. Now, it is also a fact that there have been few very illustrious Indians holding a very senior position in the American companies and we Indians are quite happy to boast about this achievement of Indians in the American organizations. But tell me one single Indian who has acquired this position for his education in India. They have been all blessed with this high position because they have been educated in America and not in India. I as a civil engineer have not seen a very serious contribution to my professional career from the academic learning. I was just thinking that some of our teachings are so irrelevant. As a student, I was very good at maths and <clears throat> I could do mathematic problem quite fast. One of the things where I could score very high marks was factoring. For example, if I was given x square minus 9x plus 18 is to be factored, I would quickly say it is x minus 6 plus x minus 6 into x minus 3. Now don't bother to check, it is correct. x minus 6 into x minus 3 will result into x square minus 19x plus 18. Now this simple thing where I could score more marks and where many of my peers were struggling to factor, I have not used this formula in my last 50 years of professional career. Not the formula, the need for factorizing. So this is a proof that so many things that we learn in our engineering college are perhaps not relevant. Now going back to the American University, what is the entrance examination that will qualify an Indian to get admission into American University? And one of the important aspects that American University expects is passing out of SAT, S-A-T, which is the Scholastic Aptitude Test. Please remember, they have not asked the students to know the formulas and theories and historical dates, but aptitude test, how do you apply the knowledge that you learn in your college into your day-to-day -day life? This exactly is the main difference between the Indian program and that offered in USA. And I'm extremely happy to realize that Infini has done enormous progress in changing their curriculum to imbibe these values. Not only are they teaching the subject with more appropriate application in the industry, but they have also gone beyond in emphasizing the personality development. There is a focus on punctuality that is 
being achieved by designing the class timings at an odd hours. It is 7.59 and not 8 a.m., 6.58 and not 7 a.m. So if a student is conscious and realizes the value of every minute for entering into his lecture, he will do the same thing when he gets out of the college into the real life. So they also enforce this behavioral aspect in their program. There is emphasis on yoga, which all of us as Indians know how much important it is to keep our mind, body and soul in good shape rather than just the physical development. So there is another good aspect of uh, Infini program. They also teach case studies. That also is a very important thing. Otherwise, the people will never be able to put their knowledge into real test of solution. And apart from all these theoretical things, I have employed myself about five students from this college and have found them to be very, very useful to my organization. They stand out completely differently from the rest of the engineers that I have got because they have fully understood the meaning of the education and how it is to be utilized in real life situations. It is our duty that we provide the right education to our children so that not only we as the family members or some of the stakeholders prosper, but the nation has to improve. The construction industry is going through very difficult times and a lot of time and a lot of money is lost because the true application is not known to the students. Infini will bridge this gap and ensure that the engineers coming out of the Infini program will be better equipped, will have more understanding and will be more responsible citizens rather than just engineers. So wishing all the best to Infini and thank you very much for your patient listening. I wish all of you progress and prosperity in life. Thank you. Thank you.